I'm expecting a huge turnout in November, and we're going to have Donald Trump, and we're going to make America great again. Yeah. Thank you. Pennsylvania Republicans counting on enthusiasm. If you want to knock on that door, I'll knock on uh, 722. Okay. In an great. uphill Thank battle you. to turn this blue-collar state red in November. It wasn't won by Republicans for the last few presidential elections. We think Trump's going to win this state. Are you going to vote for Donald Trump? Probably. It's the only choice. The last time Pennsylvania went Republican, 1988. The latest poll shows Clinton ahead in the state, but with exceptionally tight races in Ohio and Florida. Republicans here sense momentum. If Donald Trump wins Pennsylvania? He wins the presidency. Here's why. Pennsylvania is more democratic than both Florida and Ohio. Thank you, whoa! If he wins here, he wins there. Trump running strong in rural Pennsylvania, but needs support in vote-rich Philadelphia and its suburbs, where a third of the state's voters live. You cannot lose the Philadelphia suburbs. Not only are we talking about a large number of votes, but we're talking about the largest pool of swing voters. Child care is such a big problem. Trump announced his child care initiative, appealing to swing voters, women, and moderates in those Philly suburbs. And we're going to solve that problem. He and his running mate, Mike Pence, have already been to the state nine times. Hello, Philly! Democrats, too, have descended on the Keystone State, fighting to keep its 20 electoral votes in their column. So let's go out. Let's make our case. Let's Clinton and Tim Kaine have been here 11 times, and that's not including the Democratic convention held here in July. In her most powerful surrogate, President Obama made his first solo campaign event on behalf of Clinton right here in Philly. I need you to work as hard for Hillary as you did for me. All right, thank you all so much for coming to help out with our 2 p.m. shift. Voter registration in July and August ahead of 2008, a banner year. Can I do it right now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So far this year, Democrats have registered 418,000 new voters to Republicans, 321,000. For both candidates, turnout, critical. If I'm in the White House, young people will always have a seat at any table where any decision is being made. Clinton seeking support from younger voters, many still burned out from a primary in which their guy didn't win. Jordan Tannenbaum was a Bernie Sanders delegate. Like many, she says fear of a Trump presidency is a bigger motivation than love for Clinton. It's, it's not an election that it's okay to sit out. You know, you can't, protest votes aren't going to do much um, this election. It's too risky. But it's uh, our job to talk to them about why they feel that way and uh, hopefully change that into positive energy. How do we make the economy work for everyone? And the ad wars have finally come to Pennsylvania. Clinton has spent nearly $12 million in the state. Her latest ad, focus on jobs and the economy. Donald Trump's America is secure. Donald Trump, after spending zero through August on TV advertising, has spent nearly $3 million on ads focusing on immigration and security. Voter registration here ends October 11th with no early voting in Pennsylvania. It will be a race to election day.